All right, switching gears now. In the Israel-Hamas war, Israel is ramping up its retaliatory attacks on Gaza City. More than 2,700 Palestinians have been killed. Nearly 10,000 have been wounded. In Israel, more than 1,400 people have been killed by Hamas, including 30 Americans. And back here at home, a billionaire donor is among those calling for the president of the University of Pennsylvania to step down, to resign, after critics say she is not sending a strong enough message against anti-Semitism. Action News race and culture reporter Toronto Thomas is live on the UPenn campus with more on that. And Toronto, at this point, it does not look like the president will be resigning. No, it doesn't look like that. Not according to an email I received today from UPenn officials. Meantime, there's growing conflict on campus involving those who both support Israel and those who support Palestine. Both of them are dissatisfied with the university president's response to the ongoing war. This is our university too. A passionate message from those who feel like they aren't being heard, students who walked out of class in support of Palestine, and in objection to statements by University of Pennsylvania President Elizabeth McGill. After Hamas militants began attacks in Israel, McGill released a statement condemning the attack, saying, quote, I am heartbroken by the suffering of families and communities being ripped apart, end quote. She mentioned sympathy for the people of Israel, but not the people of Palestine. We have a whole you know, group of students and faculty and allies who are Palestinian by cause. Um, and you've just denied their entire experience. But there is also dissatisfaction on the other side from those who say McGill is not showing enough support to the Jewish community, a debate sparked by a festival in September, which included some speakers who had a history of making anti-Semitic remarks. McGill now admitted, quote, I know how painful the presence of those speakers on Penn's campus was for the Jewish community. The university did not and emphatically does not endorse these speakers or their views. While we did communicate, we should have moved faster to share our position strongly and more broadly with the Penn community. Too late for people like billionaire UPenn donor Mark Rowan, who is calling for fellow donors to, quote, close their checkbooks until McGill and the chair of the Board of Trustees both resign. That's something that looks unlikely. Trustees recently had two conversations on the issue, and in a statement to Action News, UPenn board chair Scott Box said, quote, the unanimous sense of those gathered was that President McGill and her existing university leadership team are the right group to take the university forward. So at the moment, it looks like the university president is staying put, but she acknowledges the turmoil on campus. One of her statements said in part, quote, this is a hard moment in the world. Recent events on Penn's campus make it that much harder. On the University of Pennsylvania campus, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Okay, Taronda, thank you.